What's up, Internet? This is Skinny at Coburg Nissan. Behind me, I've got a 2018 Nissan Armada Platinum. My favorite Nissan of all time. Anybody who watches my videos knows this. This is a true seven passenger, seven adult passenger SUV living luxury lifestyle. Let's go have a look. All right, look at this thing. It's massive. I absolutely love the Armada because it is a true seven passenger, add all passenger SUV. So like I said in my intro, it is a luxury SUV. And if this is your first time looking at one of these, you're going to want to go put on a pot of coffee because there is a lot to discuss. So this is not going to be a short video. I want to go through all the features that I can with you. So that way you can understand exactly the value that you're getting with this amazing, amazing vehicle. So let's start right off because it is cold out. Let's get the vehicle running with the remote starter. And it is, oh, listen to it. it sounds so pretty. All right. So it is an intelligent remote starter, which means that it turns on the climate control, the heated seats and the heated steering wheel in a cold weather temperature like today or vice versa. If it's summer out, it'll turn on the air and turn on the cooled seats for you to get everything nice and cool. Uh, so that way the car is ready for you when you jump in. So the Armada features some amazing advanced safety features, which are really, really hard to demonstrate because I don't want to get into an accident and show you how they work. So I'm going to tell you how they work and explain to you the uh, amazing advanced safety features on the Armada. So let's back up for a minute because I want to kind of demonstrate uh, how it works here with a little bit of a visual. Okay, so this is your Armada and you're on the highway, you're driving along and right over here is the traffic, right? You're keeping a nice safe distance and all of a sudden the traffic starts to slow down because it's Toronto and it always does and you are chained to the radio station. Well, guess what? The Armada has forward emergency braking and forward collision warning. So what that means is, as you're driving, if that traffic in front of you starts to slow down, this radar box right here is measuring that traffic in front of you and can predict and warn you when there is traffic that is slowing down too quickly for the rate of speed and even apply the brakes for you. So what would happen is, is inside the car, the dashboard would flash, it would have an audible warning, and at the same time, it will start grabbing the brakes to hopefully avoid that front end collision. It can actually grab the brakes and bring the Armada to a complete stop uh, to avoid a collision in front of you. Of course, it's not foolproof. There are circumstances where that will not work. Um, depending on the speed of the cars in front of you and how quickly they're slowing down, etc. But the whole idea with the system is obviously to avoid or decrease any kind of front end collision that could happen. So a fantastic system and in my opinion one of the best safety features they've added to a vehicle in a long, long time. So this Armada has it and you can rest assured safe and sound that this will be a much safer vehicle because of it. So all the other advanced safety features I'll explain to you inside the car because they're a little bit easier to uh, kind of show off when we're in there with some visuals. So we'll go through those in just a minute and now we'll talk about the engineering behind this Armada. So you are looking at a 5.8 liter V8 engine, absolute powerhouse. You can tow over 9,000 pounds with the Armada. So if you got a boat, a trailer or whatever you want to tow behind you, you're good to go. This thing is set up right away uh, and it's just, it's an easy, easy vehicle to drive and tow with. Uh, having a look here on the side, you've got these beautiful, beautiful wheels. Look at how nice they look. Nice 20 inch wheels on it, great all season tires. And as we go down the side, you've got this cool kind of vent here with the nice V8 badge, beautiful chrome capped mirrors. You've got side steps to help the little guys get in. Now this one here was already tinted, looks really sharp, nice white pearl paint with those dark windows on the side. And as we come around the back, you get kind of a better view why I say it's a full seven passenger adult because you've got a really, really tall roof line at the back and you'll see that when we show the inside of the car. As we come around here, I want to show you that right under here is where your tow hitch is. It's all nice and hidden from that cap, uh, but there is a tow hitch underneath. You can see it does have the rear sonar as well as a rear view camera and that comes in handy uh, when you're towing, you can turn off the sonar but still use the camera uh, and it really prevents you from bumping things in the back. You can see you got that nice platinum reserve badging back here. And then let's open up the trunk. Just a quick push on the key fob. And I'm going to show you now. So 
with the uh, seven passenger seating up, you still have lots of room here for some luggage in the back. And underneath here, you've got a little bit of a cargo area for your jack and some tools or whatever you want to plug in back there. And here's a cool feature. So the Armada features a really lazy man system. It's got a power folding third row seat. I mean, that's pretty lazy and I like lazy, but that's gonna fold all the way down. I'll show you here. Takes a little while. There we go. So you've got a nice flat trunk system in the back, right? You can still keep that other side of the seven, uh, third row up and then you can also bring them back up here. Now, as we're back here, I want to show you, see that button there? Just in front of those cup holders is the exact same button here because you can recline these rear seats back so those passengers in the rear have a much more comfortable experience. You can see right there how much farther back they will recline to give those rear passengers a nice comfortable seating position. You got lots of leg room in the front for passengers and like I said, lots of headroom up top. All right, so let's continue our tour. We're gonna close up the trunk. And as we keep walking around, you can admire the beauty of this beast. It is absolutely gorgeous. Nice, big, huge SUV. That's why I like it. It really stands out on the road. Uh, you can find it in a parking lot, that's for sure. You're usually one of the bigger SUVs out there. Uh, as we come along in the front, you've got these gorgeous headlights and they are LED headlights. So that's the bright, bright white light that really annoys the heck out of you in your rear view mirror. Uh, but those are the nice LED headlights and then you've got this beautiful LED accent light here too. You got fog lights down below and then look at this beautiful massive Nissan grill. Love that thing. Look at that. Look at the stance of this truck. I mean that is a big big girl. Looks absolutely fantastic. Drives just like it looks too. Drives like a big truck. Like you feel big and powerful. That's probably why I like it. I'm a small guy so like to feel big and powerful. Ugh. Let's have a look in the back. So one of the things they've added for 2018 is these rear second row seats get the platinum reserve treatment as far as the embroidered seats. And you can see a nice quilted seat cushion here. And then this is the seven passenger, mod passenger module model. Well, my gosh, seven passenger model. There we go. That gives you this center armrest. Uh, and inside the armrest here, you've got some cup holders. And then this is the storage here. In here, we've got the headrests for your DVD players. Because on the Platinum model, you get the nice DVD players and the headrests with wireless headphones and a wireless remote. And what that means is that because it's all wireless, you can have your kids back here watching Beauty and the Beast or Aladdin or whatever Disney movie of their choice. And you can be in the front listening to the radio so you don't have to listen to what they're watching to, uh, which is fantastic for mom and dad, obvious reasons. Now, speaking of the back seats, have a look here. Because for 2018, they've added and uh, done some adjustments here. You've got heated seats for the rear passengers. You've got tri-mode climate control which means that the back passengers have their own independent temperature from their front. And you've got your volume control now here, which is pretty smart. Uh, you've got two USB ports. So each passenger has their own USB port. You can see the other one over there. Another smart thing that they've done. And down here, you can see, oh my gosh, you've got a 120 volt outlet here, a 12 volt here, and then you've got an HDMI and USB import for those DVD uh, headrest, uh, pardon me, the monitors in the rear. So you can have an HDMI going to those monitors or a USB, which simply means, I mean, you can put a PlayStation or an Xbox in here with that 120 volt and they can be playing, I don't know, what would kids play? Fortnite, they can play Fortnite back here as they're enjoying their beautiful quilted heated seats. Oh my gosh, this is why I like this truck. My kids, I, I mean, I've got two boys. I've got an eight year old and a five year old. And whenever I bring home an Armada, they love it uh, because they're really comfortable back there, obviously. And they get DVD players. And for mom and dad, let's face it, that is quite the treat for us too. Now, having a look at the front, the front passengers are also treated. We've got a power tilt and slide sunroof. We have that beautiful treatment again on the front seats with that Platinum Reserve logo embroidered there. I guess it's not embroidered, that's embossed. I know that from my text days. That's embossed uh, <laughs> uh, Platinum Reserve logos there. 
you've got driver and passenger power seats. There's power lumbar on the driver's side. And another great thing is you have a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. So where this is particularly nice is when you've got a taller and shorter driver, that steering wheel, the seat, and the mirrors are all adjusted to the driver memory system. You've got two driver systems here. So driver one gets in, pushes the button, everything goes to their setting. And then when driver two gets in, everything will go to their setting. But the nice thing is, is that this is uh, what's called entry exit assist. So who, no matter who's in the car, when they get out, this steering wheel goes up, the seat goes back. So no matter how short or how tall the next driver getting in is, they can get in and then everything goes back to their setting. So, I mean, if you got a person who's six foot eight and then another driver is five foot two, you can appreciate that that's gonna be quite handy. Um, if you don't have those extremes in your household, hey, good for you. So, heated steering wheel. Oh, see, so remote starter activates for only 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the remote starter will shut off. You can reactivate it again by pushing the button, or in this circumstance, we're just gonna leave it because the door's open and continue our tour. But you've got a heated steering wheel switch here, and this button here is for those uh, advanced safety features that I mentioned, like the forward emergency braking, uh, and some other safety features when I hop in that I'll uh, show you as well. But you can turn those on or off if you like. You've got the switch here for the power uh, trunk. You can turn that on or off. If you're towing, you might want to turn it off perhaps. Uh, and then this is the adjustment for the LEDs, uh, for the headlights, how high you want them to be as far as on the horizon. Some people like them pointing straight down at the road. Some people like them to have a little bit more distance on them and you can make that adjustment there. So let's hop in here and we'll get her started now that the remote starter has deactivated after 10 minutes. Told you it's gonna be a long video. So, now that we're in here, it's all started. It is nice and warm. The heated seats are nice and warm. My steering wheel is nice and warm. I can show you some other great features here. Let's turn down this fan speed for a second so you can hear me a bit better. So on the steering wheel, you've got this nice leather wrap steering wheel. You've got the beautiful, I don't know if you can see it there. You've got the contrast stitching on the wheel that matches kind of these nice brown leather seats. You've got your radio controls on one side and you've got your cruise controls on the other side. Now, what's different about this is that the Armada features intelligent cruise control, which is this button right here. The intelligent cruise control system is amazing. If you've ever driven a vehicle with intelligent cruise, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, let me explain it. So you're on the highway, you're doing 110, 120, whatever it is, you hit cruise. What always happens is, oh yeah, of course, traffic in front of you, somebody starts to slow down, or you got some goofball in the fast lane doing 110. Well, that's annoying because then you got to hit the brakes, wait, da da da. No, you don't. With intelligent cruise control, using that same radar box for the forward emergency collision warning and braking, it's going to sense that the car in front of you is driving slower. It will match the speed in front of you. Once that car moves out of the way, come on, move it, get out. Once it moves out of the way, the cruise control will go back up to that preset speed that you have, say 120, and Bob's your uncle, you're carrying on. Super, super convenient because you don't have to sit there and be like, come on, buddy, move. Ah, relax, enjoy the drive, let the Armada match the speed, get them out of the way, and then you're back up to the cruising speed. Now you can adjust the um, intensity of the braking or the distance in front of you that, that it's gonna match the car. So in other words, uh, you can have it so it will kind of cruise right up close. I mean, obviously safely, but right up close to the car or leave a farther uh, distance in front for uh, a little bit safer braking distances. You can adjust that here, uh, three different settings there. And then again, here's that um, advanced safety shield button here on the steering wheel that you can turn on or off at your convenience. So let's talk about some of those advanced safety field sealed features, oh my gosh. You've got that forward emergency braking, you've got the collision warning, that's all activated. Now you've got something called lane departure warning and mitigation. What that is, is really easy. You're driving on the highway and you've got your road lines, right? You got your uh, right and left road lines. So as you're driving, let's say you start going over here to adjust the radio, you're making the adjustments and the Armada starts to drift over a little bit. Well, guess what? The camera on that mirror is gonna pick up that you're drifting over that lane marker. It's gonna go beep, beep, beep. And it's also going to gently nudge the Armada back into your lane by applying the brakes. It doesn't turn the wheel. That won't happen. It will apply the brakes and just gently bring you back in your lane while warning you, hey, Dumbo, look up. 
So it's lane departure warning, which is the warning and mitigation, meaning bringing you back in your lane. And that's activated with this button here. And the other thing it has is blind spot warning, which is featured right up top here. I'm gonna actually shut off the car and turn it back on. You'll see that amber light turn on. But that's your, right there, that's your blind spot warning, okay? And blind spot mitigation, meaning, or intervention, I think that one's called blind spot intervention, meaning when you're driving and you're about to make a lane change, you put on your turn signal, it only works with the turn signal, guys. So if you don't use a turn signal, forget it. But when you're driving, you put on the turn signal and let's just say for some reason, you didn't see this light was on, meaning that there's someone here. You're gonna make a lane change, uh -uh, ain't gonna happen. It's gonna again, gently nudge you back in and warn you saying, hey, buddy, pay attention. So the Armada, I mean, really is set up for the ultimate distracted driver. If you're a distracted driver who's always changing the radio because you can't find something you wanna listen to or whatever, great vehicle because it's gonna warn you of everything they should or shouldn't be doing. Um, but it's also got the mitigation and intervention, meaning it will also help you correct it. I gotta stress again, it is a vehicle. You still have to drive it. You still have to operate it under safe conditions. It's not foolproof. However, it's got all these features to help you uh, avoid and prevent a collision, okay guys? So if you're looking for some advanced safety features, this is by far an amazing choice for you because of all those things. So let's review. Forward emergency braking, forward collision warning, lane departure intervention and mitigation and blind spot warning um, and blind spot intervention, I think it's called. So you got four different advanced safety features. And if you wanna call the Adaptive Cruise Control 5, you've got some amazing features on this Armada to keep you safe and sound as you're driving with your family, maybe all seven of them in here. So that's this, okay? Let's move over to this. So starting up top, you've got a fantastic Bose audio system. It is like, I think it's like 14 speakers in this thing. Absolutely killer sound system, sounds fantastic. Let's push the audio button and I'll show you here. So you've got like a hundred different ways you can listen to audio here. AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, obviously CD player, Bluetooth audio so you can stream music from your phone like Google or Spotify or whatever you're listening to will go all wirelessly through your phone into the audio playing through this beautiful Bose speakers. USB input, iPod input, and then rear display is where you can turn those screens on or off, etc. however you wanna to listen to it. But you've got all these amazing ways to listen to audio in the vehicle, and they all go through these beautiful Bose speakers, so it's fantastic for audio. Now, you've got your navigation system. This is all touchscreen. You can pinch to zoom and all that cool stuff. Uh, and then you've got Nissan apps. So if you download Nissan Connect, you can download some apps. Facebook, all this crap for your car. Why do you want Facebook in your car? I don't know, but you can do it. No, oh, everything. Nissan's so cool now. You've got all these really wicked ways to stay connected in your vehicle. You've got your climate control is all in the um, in this infotainment system here. So it's got a ton of ways to stay connected, stay entertained, and sound great while you're doing it. Now, as well, in this beautiful big screen, when I put the car in reverse, this is where you get that rear view camera and over here you get the around view camera. So this around view is a top down view, makes parking really, really easy and very safe when you're backing out of a driveway, obviously with that rear view camera as well. But here's a cool little hack. Some people don't know this. When the Armada is driving 10 kilometers or less, you can push this camera button and it gives you a front view. So have a look, there's that uh, row of sedans and there's that row of sedans. So under 10 kilometers or less, you can use this camera button and now, what happens is, is when you're pulling into a parking spot, you can use the camera button to get nice and close to the vehicle in front of you. Or let's say you had a garage that was big enough to park this bad boy in. You could turn the camera button on and get nice and close to that front wall, and it still gives you your around view camera. So when you're pulling into a parking spot, you can line it up, get it inside the lines, and look like the best parker in one of the, the biggest vehicles that we have. So that is one of those cool hacks that you have just by pushing the camera button there, it gives you your front camera. Now, if you are not a touchscreen type of person, like we have up here, we do have all the tactile buttons down here for your radio, your volume control, your presets, everything's all right there if you wanna use buttons. Um, and you've got your dual zone climate control. So driver and passenger temperatures are there. And then your rear controls are here. You can turn the rear controls off in case you've got little ones who like to touch a lot of buttons. You can turn that off and uh, control it strictly from the front 
or you can leave it on rear so they can control it back there. So I'll let you decide what you like to do there. Over here, we've got the heated and cooled seats, whatever you prefer. And that is driver and passenger. Very nice, obviously, in the summertime to have cooled seats because these leather seats will warm up, but you can cool them down nice and quick. You've got a 12 volt outlet, two USB ports for charging any electronics that you have. And then let's have a look at this beautiful dash setup here. You've got a nice shifter here. You've got your all wheel drive selector. I'll talk about that in a sec. You've got a holder here for some junk. And then you've got big cup holders here as well as an area down here, I imagine, for your change for Tim Hortons or Starbucks. Starbucks change, yeah, right. Didn't have to be Toonies and Loonies. All right, so here we've got your all-wheel drive selector. So you've got automatic mode, which is obviously the way you want to drive all the time. It will sense if any of the wheels start to slip and then engage the four-wheel drive as needed. Very self-explanatory, very simple, hands-off approach. You've got four high and four low. So you can operate it four high if you like. If you're not trusting the system or there's a circumstance where you really want to operate four high, go ahead and make that selection or four low. Snow mode is a very, very intelligent mode. I like using snow mode, obviously, when there's snow on the ground because it just gives you that extra traction, especially at a stop sign. So when you're at a stop sign and the car's stopped, it's a big vehicle to get going. Snow mode will mean that it starts off in four wheel drive from a dead stop, giving you that added traction. Once it realizes that there's no slippage and you're moving, puts it back into two wheel drive. But the snow mode really, really helps with that. You've got tow mode. Tow mode will keep those engine RPMs a little bit higher to help uh, handle the load on the rear. And then you've got your tractor control off, might turn it off, who knows. But you could do it if you want. Now, here's a nice feature, the Platinum Reserve, again, embossed on the armrest here. Nice big armrest for the driver and passenger to there. And inside here, you got a nice big junk holder for whatever you want to put back there. I'll give you a nice little tour here. And look here, this is one of these things. Look at how it kind of wraps around and gives that passenger a nice cockpit feel as well. But I mean, look, this is, this is a big car. There is lots of room in this, lots of luxury features, room for seven adults, entertainments for the kids, heated, cool, tri-zone climate control, DVD players, HDMI input put an xbox in this thing my gosh i remember going on road trips and my dad gave me crossword puzzle here you go kid uh what am i talking about i didn't have a tough childhood my name's skinny i love working at coburg nissan you will love buying here if you're shopping out of town not a problem we have you covered we have free delivery practically right across ontario so if you like this armada and you're in kitchener you're in timmins you're in kingston you're in ottawa you're in niagara wherever you are we can get this vehicle to you practically anywhere in ontario free of charge and even if you have a trade-in, we can help you out with that. Pictures, email, all the thing. We're all set up. It's 2018, guys. We can do all this through email and everything else. You don't need to come here. You've got everything you need, including this video, to just enjoy the experience and sit back, just like Amazon buying at home. So we've got it all set up. Guys, this is a fantastic vehicle. If you don't love it already, my gosh, I can't convince you anymore. This is 20 minutes and running. But this is a fantastic Armada. If you've got kids, if you've got a trailer, if you're towing, whatever the case is, you will not go wrong. This is a beautiful vehicle and it's got every single luxury feature. I just love it. And I mean, obviously I wish I could drive one, but I can't. So I got to sell it, sell it, somebody buy it and enjoy it and love it for life. You won't go wrong. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and please give us a call. Send us an email. We'll go through all the details of how we can put this in your driveway. Super, super simple. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.